Hey there folks, back in the studio and today we're going to talk about the Canik USA Mete SFX Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray and what makes this gun special. All right, I know that the market was flooded, the media market was flooded here about two months ago, maybe three, with these. A lot of you guys probably saw these cases and you're like, oh, what's in the box? And by now, if you're a Canik fan, if you're a fan uh, of the Mete or the Canik pistols, you probably know that those were media kits that were sent out to media personalities. Uh, and I happen to be one. Like it or hate it. Uh, that's the case. Why did I wait to do this? Well, I decided to wait to do the SFX review until the, the clutter kind of died down a little bit. Uh, we did the Mate SFT. We did the first one. Wrote an article, did the, uh, did the video uh, a couple of months ago. So recently I went out to the range and I tried out, I tested out the Mate SFX. Now the SFX shares many similar features to the SFT. Uh, it has the dual sided mag re or slide release slash slide stop. Uh, it comes with the various different kinds of back straps that are interchangeable. Uh, it comes with the tool that you can use to change the back straps, which is really nice. It comes with this little tiny toolkit. Uh, you open up the back end and you dump all the pieces out into your hand. There we go. We've got uh, bits, screwdriver bits, torque bits, and we've got a whole bunch of little screws and uh, lock washers and, and all that good jazz. Why would you want that? Well, there's a few things that you can change on this gun, which you should know by now, but we'll talk about. All right. If you look right up there on the slide, you will see that I have an RMS Charlie. This is a shield optic. This is the RMS C. This is a small one uh, or the small or mini micro dot or micro dot, mini dot, whatever. Uh, these are really popular. Crimson Trace has one that's almost the exact same size. Hollow Sun has one that's the same size. And when the guns arrive, they arrive with this plate on them. And this is an aftermarket option. The, the mini red dot does not come with the pistol. What comes with the pistol? Okay, you get the pistol, right? There you go. You get a standard 18 round magazine. You get a bonus 20 round magazine, so you get two magazines right there. You get a mag loading tool in case your thumbs are weak. You get this little kit right here. You get an additional or an add-on mag funnel if that's something you need to have or want. There you go. And then there is a little, there's a screw for that in the kit. Uh, and then of course you have the mounting plates. When you take off the shield here, you take this off, there's a mounting plate that you can put underneath the shield site and you mount it. Now, as we mentioned with the SFT previously, the old models of SFX and optic ready pistols, the rear sight was part of the plate. So when you remove the plate to put the red dot on, the rear sight disappeared, it went away. Well, what they've done with the Mate is they've recut it so that the rear sight is still in place. Now these came with the uh, funk tarted uh, three white dot sights. So I took a marker and I blacked out the rear white dots because that's stupid and that's child's play. But for some reason, manufacturers still want to put those on there. Uh, what's special about this gun? Well, it has the it has the vents and the cuts up here, which make it racy. I guess it make it makes it race better. Uh, if you're looking, and of course it is an elongated slide, it's an extra long slide, your SFT would have stopped right here. So you have a long slide, a long barrel, uh, get a little bit extra velocity. The classic trigger, the, the very good trigger that you get with the Canik pistols. Oh, did I mention that you get this holster? 
Uh, and the holster is actually an OWB IWB. You can reverse these clips and put them on the front and you can wear this as an inside of the waistband holster. I haven't tried that yet. I've just used it as an outside of the waistband holster. Uh, and then of course you get the obligatory pistol lock because these are awesome and fantastic and great. Uh, what, ex what accessories can you get for this uh, in addition to being able to mount a red dot on it? Uh, and it has to be, it's set up for the mini or micro red dots. The shield ones, the crimson trace ones, the new hollow sun ones. So this is a micro red dot. Real small, compact. Uh, obviously we have the... 1913 Picatinny slash Weaver accessory rail up front on the dust cover. All right. And if you look right here, I'm going to show the camera. The Magwell actually is funneled already. I mean, you might want to put this on here just because, you know, it makes you feel happy or whatever. But the Magwell is already funneled and, and mags pretty much fly into this gun. Uh, you know, you can put mags in there all day long. So... Uh, it's a really well-made frame. Uh, it's a good grip fit. We talked about previously the index points or the lock points that they put on the edge so that when it's in the holster, it gives it a little bit of extra tension, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, one of the big things that you guys might be interested in is the aftermarket threaded barrel. You can get an aftermarket threaded barrel for the SFX and for the other one too, the SFT. Uh, it's half by 28 threading, uh, which is typical American threading, which is good. Because originally when the Canix hit the USA, they were talking about putting the metric European threading on them. And I said, mm, that's okay, but Americans aren't going to like that. And they listened and they changed it to half by 28. So, went out to the range, shot this uh, about 100, 150 rounds or so. I ran the one box workout through it and then I did some distance shooting. The nice thing about the red dot, uh, when it's zeroed properly, let's say 15, 25 yards, I would zero it for about 15 probably. But if you want to do it for 25, go crazy. Uh, I was able to make headshots at 30 yards with this using the red dot. I've got the steel target, the little hostage target that has the bad guy head and you shoot it and so forth. I was able to manage to do uh, 30 yard headshots with this using the red dot. That's pretty respectable, pretty respectable. Uh, I ran the variety pack of ammo through this, steel cased ammo, full metal jacket, brass cased, jacketed hollow point, nickel cased, uh, jacketed hollow point, and so on and so forth. Ran the variety pack, Black Hills, Century, uh, some Remington ammo was in there, some CCI ammo was in there. Uh, it all ran fine. I didn't have any, you're like shocked. You're like, wow, you didn't have any stoppages or malfunctions or anything. No, uh, ran fine. Just lube these things up, load them, take them to the range, and you should have very good luck with them. And like I said, this right here, this pistol with the, the kit that I talked about minus the red dot, is MSRP at only $574 or $579, something like that. So I would look for them at your local dealer for probably $10 to $15, maybe $20, $25 less than that. Uh, that's a good deal. That's a heck of a good deal for an out-of-the-box race gun. If you're looking for a gun to compete in your local IPSC matches or ID, not at, maybe not IPSC, IDPA or whatever, um, this is a... This is a good solid gun. It's a solid piece of gear. So this is the, it is the SFX, the Mete Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray from Canic USA. Check them out.